Uh, hello, this is a short note about downloading the training charts that we use in our online course on electronic chart navigation. And we have a note in the description to the video about a more generic link on downloading charts uh, to this program. But right now, I just want to look at the course, the course uh, charts. So here's our uh, page, the lesson one, where this comes about. Uh, where is okay sample training charts dot zip so we want to do that just I'm on a PC and uh, I'm going to click that and so that starts a download process um, actually it looks like it's going really fast here maybe I'll just uh, uh, just let that run and then um, uh, we're going to after this opens we're going to go in to make a special folder called my charts and then we're going to move this uh, move this document into there so instead of opening it here that wouldn't make sense uh, I'm going to hear show in finder or show here okay so there's a file we just downloaded so what I'm going to do I'm still on the PC I think right and then I'm gonna just right click this and say copy copy that now I'm gonna go over here to the documents folder and here's where I've already made this so this is not going to be there that's in your documents folder and I make a folder called my QTVLM data we'll put a lot of different things in there as we go through the course but for now we're just putting the chart and I made these subfolders none of these are there and these are empty for now but uh, so I made this my charts and that's empty now now I'm gonna right click and say paste paste okay that's a paste now here that file is here now we have to unzip them that's a compressed file and I'm in a PC which has a uh, uncompressor in it um, extract all I think that's it extract all but now now what you should do I think is browse and then go back to this my charts and click my charts there's my charts and say select folder and uh, then uh, extract okay so that doesn't take too long okay then that has moved the full uh, charts from our computer to this to the user computer and then we'll just take a quick look at these before we then load them into uh, the program so that's taken just a minute there or something uh, can I open that yet? Not yet. Okay, but this is live, so it shows you the real time that's involved here. Um, Hundred percent. Okay, and so these are. The, this is a zip file. Now, actually, let you see. I can open this. Let me just see if that works. Yeah, I open that. Now I can close that. This zip chart here, you could actually just get rid of that. There's no need for that anymore that's just taking up space here are the charts and look we're actually loading several sets of charts here's the main set that we're going to use all these ENC charts uh, for the US mostly the US and then here is the here is the paper chart counterpart the RNC counterparts so you can as we go through and study these you can compare them back and forth here's some charts in Hawaii that we use this is actually uh, a rather special thing and it'll it comes up in a lesson it's a, a sort of a vector based a ENC based uh, chart number one it's explained in one of the lessons but we just load all this stuff at once okay so we're done here with this now we can move let me just I'll minimize that. Then we we'll minimize that, and we're done with that. Okay, so now we can go to the program, and so you go up here to the program QTVLM uh, configuration. Now on a Mac that would be preferences at the top. Uh, let's see general charts charts, and then um, rasters and vectors and folders. Now in the course you'll see that there is a there's a two button click to get there directly get to this page directly but I didn't use that for now you'll learn that in the course. So here's what you see when you open the folders there's two two 
two uh, um, places assigned here, which I guess is the intention for people to put charts there, but we have a lot of reasons not to put charts there. We want to put charts in our own special folder, which we explain later. So we want to add our folder where we're keeping our charts. These, these two things will just be empty. You can delete them or what doesn't, doesn't matter. So I add, add. Now I just have to go back to documents documents my QT VLM data and I click that my charts and that's filled here folder my charts select folder okay so then I'm confirming this see these don't matter you can uncheck these there's nothing in there and but this is checked means these are active now and uh, you can have a folder fill of charts and then you could check them or uncheck them to turn them on or off okay so there's that and they're there and now we have to say okay and then oh then it's rebuilding the charts I don't know well 16 20 percent something like that and then we can look at the charts we could look at both the vector charts uh, the vector charts and the raster charts okay so that's done so let's go uh, here and this is where we are oh by the way when you when the when you first open the program you're going to be in France and so then what you might do is I think we sell we say this elsewhere you can click this this button up here one to one of the see the, the program is going to start over here in France up here in France somewhere and then you just come over here to the Pacific Northwest and then you can do you know something like that drag you know click that right click and say zoom zoom to the selection and so forth so and then I'm rolling with the mouse okay and then I would move the boat to here because the program set up or you can set it up so that it always zoom it always opens up where the boat is all right so now we can look at the vector charts you would put the V that's a ENC charts and again this may take a while to load the very first time so they're loading now and then you can Again, they take a while to load the first time, but once there's once they're uh, understood where they are and so forth, it's pretty fast. And then you can then roll in, scroll in on these. Um, again, they there's like multiple layers of these charts to load, so it takes a little bit of time to get them in the first time. But um, so that looks uh, looks. Oh, now okay. There's a feature called when you over zoom to turn on a fuzz to turn on a fuzzy view I'm not going to get into that right now but we have other videos that show how to shut that off we don't want that uh, but um, and I'm not going to waste take time right now to look that up but it's in other videos when you zoom in and you're over zoomed it, this has a feature to fuzz out the chart which we have no function for that and now we turn on raster raster charts are the other they're the paper charts and you see they're loaded as well so that's the process for loading the charts and again there's a lot of other videos and discussion about other setup features other setup features like this one I just just stumbled into and uh, but I'll leave that for another place job now is just get these charts in there and running and then you, it's all saved you can close the program and open the program it'll all be there thank you